Hey what's up guys, Lightning 14 here, soaring back in Terminator Life with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how to make your own custom patches slash pins. It's my own design, it's kind of a hybrid of the two, but a super simple design. All you need is a color paper printer, uh, a computer to print it out with, uh, safety pins, duct tape, packing tape, and that's it. Uh, you can make these in any size you want, in any design you want, in any shape you want. You can put them on your tactical gear, your backpacks, uh, your bag, your shirt, doesn't matter. Uh, you can make them with any design. You could represent your favorite YouTubers, your sports team, uh, your school, club, organization, Nerf group, whatever, it doesn't matter. So a very simple design and uh, let's get right on in to making the patches. All right, so the first step in making your own patches, you see either make your own designs or find your own designs on the internet. So uh, to do that, I thought I'd make a really short segment uh, talking about how to resize images to a very specific size so that you can get exactly the size in inches of patch that you want. And uh, also talk a little bit about uh, what sort of image editing programs you can use to make your own. So for some people, this won't be very useful. So if this isn't useful for you, you can feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp marked uh, at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, uh, keep going and uh, hopefully you learned something. So to make a patch, all you need is a picture. And so if we go up to new tab and we, I just searched for flash logo on Google and uh, we can pick whichever one of these we want, but I settled on this one because it's already a circle, which works nicely for us and makes it look more like a patch. You can make them any shape you want. So you could totally do something weird like this shape, even with the little uh, pokey lightning bolt things coming off of it, but uh, that would be a little less patch-like, so up to you. So we can just copy that and then paste it into a Google document and uh, you want to select wrap text uh, or break text, wrap text, whatever, it doesn't matter. That will just allow you to move your image around. And you also want to go up to view and show ruler. And that will pull up these little rulers up here on the top and on the sides of the screen. And then you can just click on your image and uh, resize it. So we are going to make ours be two inches. You can see I have it lined up with my one inch margin there. And then we'll just resize it to set the edge of the box, lines up with the two inch mark. And because it's a square, it is now a two inch um, patch. Then all you need to do is go up to file and print and uh, go from there. If you don't have a color printer at home, which um, they're not too expensive, but if you don't for some reason, you could use your school's printer or a work printer, or you could even potentially go to a printing shop like Kinko or whatever it's called and have them print it out for you. So yeah. Um, uh, if you want to make your own patches, uh, your best, the best free image editing program available is GIMP. And uh, it is a free program that you can download. It's on Windows, uh, Mac, whatever, OS X, or Linux, Linux, I mean, whatever. And uh, that is, it's basically Photoshop, but with a little less features and you don't have to pay the obscene per monthly fee for using Creative Cloud and all that nonsense. If you don't want to mess with downloading something, even though this is a completely safe program, um, it's not going to harm your computer, I promise. Uh, you can use Pixlr Editor. Uh, this is an online editor, so you can just search for Pixlr Editor edit if I can spell or type and there's no E in between the R and you will find it first link and uh, you have to enable flash to run this uh, should be obvious how to do that but if you don't know you can just basically click on this little thing here and uh, there should be a little button that pops down that says allow flash or if you're on like uh, Firefox, sorry, then you can do whatever you need to enable it there too. So you open it and it looks like this and uh, you've got all sorts of tools here. You've got 
uh, pencil tools, brush tool, a lot of your, most of your basic Photoshop tools, just your general standard stuff. You can do layers up here. You've got uh, navigator, you've got uh, filters, um, all sorts of stuff. And the main advantage of this is that it's online. So you can access this anywhere on any computer that has an internet connection. So that's pretty nice, but it doesn't have the same amount or level of features that GIMP does or even Photoshop. So those are some good options for you. So once you've got your things printed out, it's time to make them. So let's go do that. All right, so we've got, I've got some designs here that I want to make into patches. You can see this one I'm pretty proud of. I designed this one in Photoshop myself. I think it's pretty great. Um, it's uh, Brett and it says get nitro with the flames. I really like that one. And I also sort of made this one. Really all I did was uh, add a border. But um, anyways, we're going to make these two designs into patches. So very, very simple. All you need to do is uh, first start by cutting out your patches with a pair of scissors. So I'll do that. All right, so we've got our two patches cut out. Uh, you can see they look a little nicer now that they're cut out. I could have done a slightly better job, but obviously the nicer you cut them out, the nicer the patches will look. So you've got to be careful with that. So the next step, uh, I'm just going to try and straighten this out a little bit. Which, oop, now we bent it. Oh well. <laughs> Still looks pretty good, but our next step is going to be to layer duct tape over the back. Uh, just simply rip off some pieces of duct tape, place it over the back of your patch, like so. And you want to make sure that you have some hanging off the edge like this. And you're just going to want to keep doing that. And we're going to go, I generally do, I've been doing three layers of duct tape. Uh, three layers thick worth of duct tape, but uh, you could go thicker or you, but I really wouldn't recommend you go thinner because then your patch will be less durable. So we're going to just keep putting on more duct tape. And uh, I find it also helps if you, if you uh, crisscross the duct tape, like the first set of duct tape, you go this way. And then the other set, you go uh, perpendicular to it. All right, so now we've got our duct tape layered over the back side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to protect the front side of the patch. And uh, since we can't use duct tape for that, since it's opaque, I'm going to be using this clear packing tape. Um, and we are just going to do the exact same thing. But for this, we're only going to use one layer. So you rip off a piece, or cut off a piece, my bad. We're just going to layer it over top of the front, making sure not to get too many fingerprints on it. Oh, oh shoot, we, we screwed it up. We done screwed it up. No! <laughs> Shoot, I may have to make another one of that now. Oh, that's annoying. You can see I wasn't careful enough when I applied it. Now we've got a wrinkle in it. Dang it! That is annoying. Oh well. We'll make another one off camera, but we'll continue making this one for demonstration purposes. It would help if I could cut it without crumpling it too. But yeah, just um, 
layer it over top. You kind of want to be careful not to handle it too much and get too many fingerprints on the inside of the tape because that will make it look less nice. So you can see now we have our our uh, tape laid over the front and uh, on the back and now all we do is cut away the tape. So you can see now we have our completed patch. It's relatively flexible, uh, pretty durable now, and uh, won't, it won't wear out very quickly as something like just having the paper would have. So uh, now what we are going to do is we're going to add the safety pins, which I have forgotten, so I'm going to go get those. All right, we've got our safety pins. And uh, so what you want to do is just take two safety pins. You could probably use one, but two is more secure and uh, probably better. So I'm just using these small or kind of medium-ish safety pins. Size doesn't really matter, but uh, that's what I'm using. So you take your safety pins and then what you want to do is you want to rip off a strip of duct tape uh, like so and make sure that it will fit through the center of the safety pin with it closed. So, I, so we have our strip of duct tape like this then we insert it into the safety pin and place it in the middle so we have this. Then we are just going to uh, place that on the back. Uh, I like to put it at about the one-third mark and uh, then just press the tape down and don't worry about the tape hanging off the edge. We will be adding more tape and then we will cut that off later. And then what you want to do is take another strip of duct tape. Uh, size doesn't really matter but then you want to place that crossways. We had one strip going through the pin. We want one strip going parallel to the pin. Like so, so that we have uh, duct tape on one side of the pin and through the pin. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side with another strip of tape and just place it on the other side of the pin. And that will make sure that the pin cannot slide around and uh, uh, come off of the of the patch. So then we're going to do that with our second safety pin. Then we can just place that one at the other, uh, again at about one third in from the edge. And place strips of tape on either side of the pin. And uh, then you just want to trim off the excess duct tape. And uh, probably also, close your pins so that you don't stab yourself. And so then you are done with your pin. You can see we have our safety pins on the back to attach it to anything that we want. Uh, tactical gear, backpacks, um, your coat, your hat, your shirt, doesn't matter. And uh, it's relatively durable and flexible because of the duct tape that we've and the packing tape that we've layered over the printer paper and uh, it's ready to go on anything you want. So that's our finished patch and I'll just finish making up this one and uh, that's that.
All right, so that's all there is to making your own custom patches. We can see we've got a handful of cool designs here. We've got um, a modified Jankular logo patch in uh, black and red instead of the white and red with some little uh, border pieces on it. We've got a uh, auxiliary patch from Captain Xavier. We've got uh, an Aldos Nerf War videos patch. We've also got probably my favorite one, the Bobo Boom patch. Uh, this one is just that scene from Bobololo's channel trailer where he's like, I, my name is Bobolo and I've got one question for you. Explosions? You know, that one. And uh, we've also got an out of darts patch. And uh, finally we have the Barrett Get Nitro patch. So yeah, all of these patch designs that I have designed myself in Photoshop, you can find in a Google document in the description. They're all laid out on one piece of paper with also some extra ones. I've got two X-Strike logos that I haven't uh, made into patches yet, but all the patches designs that you've seen in this video are in that Google document all in one, one sheet that you can just print out and uh, make all these designs yourself. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the description out and check that out. Uh, if you're new, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, please leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and even more, hopefully you actually learned something. So go out, make some cool patches, make yourself some cool swag. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.